All right, we're playing Omni Show again today, but as you'll notice here in the land base, the only green that we have is in the land base with this misty rainforest because we are mono blue today. Show and tell and omniscience make a return here, of course, and as uh, is in the name, so is Ginge Taxis, a new card for most of us. Um, I don't play this much on the channel, but this is a pretty good card and more on him later or them later. While we lose the tutors that come along with green and black, we are getting a lot of card draw in blue. We get to play two of the uh, uh, Lightning Bolt Land Seagate Restoration in addition to the Brainstorm that we already played in this build, uh, plus the new Seek New Knowledge, which is a really, really good card. We also have access to removal in the... Uh, in uh, this new card into the flood maw from bloomboro uh, this is a nice one because you can basically return a non-land permanent on your combo turn which is super super good to do this is a deck that is very good against the mirror match and the control matchup because we're able to play mana drain and counter spell uh, as we're heavily into blue uh, the double pip doesn't really phase us uh, and we're totally okay with it Mana Drain in particular is really nice in this deck because we do play a pretty high curve. Uh, the top end at least is a little thick. And uh, being able to bridge from 4 to 8 mana or so it could be the distant, distance between uh, getting a difference, excuse me, between getting a Jinja Taxis out and uh, just being stuck in turns 4 through 6. So um, we want to basically tempo out our opponent, set up for a show and tell turn. We want to protect it if possible against combo or, or sorry, not combo against control. And we want to police the game against uh, combo and aggro. Um, we get to play some other new cards here, uh, quote unquote new, uh, new to the Omni show archetype, but commandeer in this deck, um, exile two blue cards to gain control target on creature spell. This sometimes comes up, but for the most part, it's just here as an option. Uh, can help you with counter magic, things like that. The game plan of this deck is basically just get to turn three show and tell or get to turn five and show and tell with protection. Then from there, we'll have an omniscience out and we'll either be able to bridge through our card draw with brainstorm, seek new knowledge and seek get restoration to the point where we find Jinshidax's progress tyrant. From there, we'll be able to continue looking through that card draw pattern until we find Oracle of the Alpha or Fae of Wishes. These are cards that on their own are really going to be good blockers against um, aggro. And uh, what we'll do once those guys use up their welcome is uh, on our combo turn, we get show and tell, get omniscience, get ginger taxes, find these cards. Then Oracle of the Alpha can find our time walks, take infinite turns through uh, looping them with Mystic Sanctuary, or just a few uh, turns rather. Uh, and then Fae of Wishes can go into the sideboard where we have a lot of cool cards. So Carnstumper Roll Sundering is a card that we finally get to play on the channel. It's a legendary sorcery, so we must have ginger taxes on the battlefield. Uh, if we do, we'll be able to uh, copy that spell with Jinja Taxis, which is super, super good. This is effectively removing two of our opponent's non-lands permanents and uh, taking two extra turns, which is great. Uh, with two of these in the sideboard, that represents four turns and 20 damage to Jinja Taxis. If they have blockers, uh, then we'll have to sometimes resort to our flyers doing uh, chip damage and eventually getting through. But if those four turns weren't enough, we can also go to Alrun's Epiphany, make four birds, get in that way, four more turns, I think at that point we should be good. If uh, that somehow is not enough or we just want to move our opponent's board out of the way, we can Rivers Rebuke and uh, return all their non-land permanents to hand. Um, I played this deck while I was on Angels, and this card in particular really, really broke me in that game. Um, if we're not ready for any of these six mana spells, uh, we can go for Discover the Formula off of our Omniscience, which is going to help us find more card draw, more things to do. Uh, potentially find our Into the Flood mods in case we need a permanent removal. And uh, this will be a good way to continue the combo. Eventually we'll get to the point where Karn Temporal Sundering and Alrin's Epiphany are going to be the ways to win the game, and we'll end it from there. So in this deck, we're also playing six fetch lands in order to uh, make more use of our Brainstorms. I was not running them in the beginning, but uh, I realized very quickly that getting Brainstorm locked is really, really tough when you're looking to combo with Show and Tell on turn three. So this is the deck, uh, Chitaxis Omni Show, Mono Blue Omni Show, whatever you want to call it. Should be a fun game today. Uh, let's get, hop into the games here and uh, hopefully combo out. Make sure to like and comment on the video. Helps with the algorithm. And subscribe if you're new for videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. See you in round one.
Okay, here we go. The uh, warm-up games that I played were not particularly uh, confidence boosting, but in this opening hand we have show and tell with omniscience. We can even commandeer pitching omni and command commandeer number two, and then we have two of three lands that will uh, need to get us started. We play twenty lands in this deck, so we should be able to find a land by turn three and get that show and tell into the stack. Opponent does go first, or so even on the play. That's pretty solid. Let's see what Commandeer's got for us. Uh, turn one Thoughtseize is pretty punishing. They'll take our show and tell. That would then open them up, open them up for a, um, a surgical extraction. We have into the Flood Mon now. Uh, Case of the Uneaten Feast. I think we're going to be seeing a lot of little, uh, little uh, Soul Sisters type dorks. Um, all right. Curious to see what they're going for. They could be using this for the solve. Who knows? Could be combo as well. Uh, this card definitely makes me think combo, but you never know. Carrot cake. All right, we're making one ones. All right, they like their scry. And we find Mystic Sanctuary, we should be able to show until very soon. Into the Flood Maw, unfortunately not going to be super relevant, unless they put something uh, that we don't like onto the battlefield after our omniscience. There's a Soul Warden. Gain another life. And I think we'll just take one here this turn. The Ocelot Pride's a little awkward. Um, will they be very close to 10? Not on this turn, but they will be getting close very, very soon. I'm just hoping to draw some actual card draw here, because we just want to slam an Omniscience, honestly. Uh, we'll move to turn here. Shinji Taxis Progress Tyrant is good. Into the Flood Mon now becomes a little bit stronger. Uh, I think we'll just rip the show and tell right now. Well, let's put an Omniscience down. See what opponent chooses. Static Prison is possible in these in this one color. Probably the only thing that I'm really worried about. All right. Surprisingly, opponent doesn't want to sit around for um, the combo turn. Uh, this definitely is an off-the-wall mono blue build, so uh, I don't think it's very popular. But, you know, it is what it is. We'll take round one that way and go into round two, hoping to do this one more time. Okay, here we go. Next round. Um, I see Oracle of the Alphas, those could be blockers. Flooded Strand here off of our Brainstorm is potentially nice. Start to filter some cards. It does not have the combo that we want, but it is a good start. I'll keep. Alright. Brainstorm on their end step and see if we want to keep all those Brainstorm cards. I think at the very least I'm happy to shuffle away an Oracle of the Alpha. We don't need so many of those. Verdant Catacombs. Might be getting Thoughtseize tier. We can always brainstorm in response, but honestly, if they take something from hand, it's fine. Dark Ritual. We have Into the Flood Maw as well, if it's like a uh, Necropotence or something. Just the Deathrite Shaman, you got it. And what will be for the two mana? We're gonna sack the Deathrite Shaman to do something. It'll be a thought seize. I think we'll let them see the brainstorm. Might be a decent take for them. Who knows? They're looking at Into the Flood Maw. Into the Flood Maw would be a fine take for me. So they take the brainstorm. Now our next turn's not really doing a whole lot, so I can understand it. They're going to take another card here. I guess it's going to be an Oracle. Maybe it'll be into the Flood Mall. They just want to take away my turn, too. That's understandable. We find Show and Tell here. Uh, kind of wish I had that Brainstorm now so I, I could hide it. Um, let's thin the deck here since we are looking for non-land permanents. This is probably uh, just to pass the turn and hope that they don't have a third piece of discard. Surgical Extraction on my Show and Tell is something that I want to make sure does not happen. Uh, we can flood the Strand here. 
let's make sure that we're ready for a mystic sanctuary here and get another basic uh, i kind of feel like surgical no just death right is coming down got it we'll go to 17 and flooded strand goes off thank you okay so we'll just get a basic and move to turn here not omniscience so we'll just go with the oracle of the alpha Their fatal pushes are going to be a little bit annoying for them to get uh, out targeting the oracle, so that's nice for me. I am just hoping that the scry off the oracles is going to be enough to find me a show and tell, uh, show and tell target. So we've lost one into the flood maw. Uh, trying to think what they could potentially have here. We see Felder for a fan, but they do have basic lands, or they do just have normal lands, so this is not Belcher. We'll go for the fourth mana here, maybe Shieldred. Shieldred's particularly bad for us, actually. We need, okay, Natural Order, sure. Natural Order Atraxa, possibly. Primeval Titan, oh, okay. Well, that kind of makes things a little bit different for me. So we have about a turn until they're able to turn on their Primeval Titan if they go optimally here. So hand more battlements here. They'll find their first field with the dead. We have mana drain up now. Um, the question is, do I care? Let's start with the attack. Get our scry and oracle. See if we find something good. Seagate restoration is card draw, but we kind of just need to find the omniscience at some point. It would be tough if there's another... Primeval Titan in hand, we would really like to mana drain that, but what we don't, we just don't have the mana for it right now. So I think we go Oracle of the Alpha here, try to get double scry and just set up a turn where we can one hit kill their opponent. Once they get big with Field of the Deads, well, there's not much we can do. I think we're going to take six here, let them get the first Field of the Dead, which will be for two zombies, unless they find another land in hand. Going to be a particularly bad one for us, I think. We'll lose our graveyard. That's fine. We we're never really using it. And there'll be no blocks. Down to 11. We put our opponent to 6 here, though. That is almost relevant. We're on a one turn clock, though, so at least one Oracle needs to survive. Or needs to uh, not attack. All right, they're going in with a lock flame. They'll go to eight here. We get really unlucky with the oracles. Um, they're going to attack here. Uh, it's lethal on board. We'll have to block. We'll need to take a random draw here, maybe mana drain something. Uh, not looking great, I will say. I think we've kind of stalled out here. They're going to go a little bit wide. We do get the mana drain on another Primeval Titan, so I'm glad that I held out for that. We'll see if uh, other counter spell can do anything about it, can say anything. But uh, I think no matter what we draw, with maybe the exception of like a Seagate Restoration, uh, Seagate Restoration that finds specifically Show and Tell, or sorry, not Show and Tell, Omniscience, that might be the only way that we uh, survive here. All right, so they get six, eight, nine, ten with the death rate. This has to be two blocks. Uh, if they have a land in their deck that can deal damage to us, thankfully they cannot. It's just more field of the deads. They're for sure dead the following turn. All right, well, gonna be a top deck of the century situation here. Down to three, then down to one with death rate. They'll choose to not activate it. And unfortunately, with our six <laughs> six mana here, we're going to have a Black Lotus, um, which I could have show and held in. Uh, let's take a look at our scries here, see what could have been. What was the top of the library? It was Ancestral Recall. That would have been great. Um, and we don't have Threshold, so unfortunately, it's not going to happen here. So it was Ancestral Recall, and then... 
a misty rainforest. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, unfortunately, not going to be our game this time around. Uh, we'll move to round three and try to get there, though. Um, kind of surprised with how this uh, Primeval Titan build showed up. Um, a lot of mono block splash here, surprisingly. Death Rite Shaman and Thoughtseize, I guess, probably are the main ones there. Uh, Dark Ritual, also surprising. There must be another angle to this that's not Primeval Titan uh, that I did not get to see. So it might be like Discard meets Primeval Titan, possibly. Uh, Primeval Titan, you go. And a uh, couple more triggers. Let's just try to get to the point where we take our damage here. Uh, we got no blockers. They can kill us with Death Rite Shaman. That works too. Nice. All right, cool. So we'll go down to round two. Round three is coming up next. All right, here we go. This is round three. So you get Restoration is one of our lands this time around. This is Show and Tell on missions Ginger Taxis. We have Seagate Restoration as a potential third land, or it can be a card draw spell if Omniscience makes it. Let's have the Castle Vantress be our first one. We'll then hold up Counterspell. The Tolarian on the other side of the battlefield, hoping that this is not hand tape, but it might be. I think we're in Thought Seized here, which sucks. Oh, it's just a Gilded Goose, that's huge. Okay. Um, wow, we even find our second land. So we are all set up to go on the next one. Let's just thin our deck here, make sure that when we're on our show and tell turn, our Seagate Restoration gives us more than just a few cards. All right, this could be the one where we do it. Let's try. Uh, we hope they tap out here. We can also probably just counterspell anything that's remotely interesting. Burn Catacombs, sure. Uh, assemble the team. I'm going to maybe assemble, I'm going to counter assemble the team here. This could, if they read that I'm omniscient, be to find a one of in their deck that they want to put in with show and tell. So uh, I think that that's a pretty sane play for me. Gilded Goose. We'll see if they make a mana with it. Probably just passing though. All right. So we're going to jam an unprotected show and tell. Okay. Troll of Cause of Doom. Maybe Reanimator then. Uh, if it's Reanimator, we are pretty okay to deal with that. We now have Mana Drain here off of the uh, Omniscient, so they have to be putting something in that destroys an enchantment. So we'll do this. We will uh, then hold priority and get into Taxus in. Eager Eater of all. That is okay. So this is a Eager combo deck. I'm going to go uh, Seagate Restoration here. Um, copied with Jinja Taxus is very, very nice. We'll get two, then three cards here. Let's go Oracle the Alpha. We can send uh, Eager back to hand here. It's Word Sack of Food, which actually we can't do. That's a little awkward. We'll put Omniscience number two in in case they're trying to do anything about it. And uh, unfortunately, into the Flood Mode, not going to work. Okay, so this is pretty decent. We have a Mana Drain here to counter whatever they're doing. It'll be copied through Ginger Taxis, so it'll really uh, be a way to say no. We're fine on health. If Yeager wants to attack, it's all good. We just have to make sure that they're not able to uh, find a cat. So I'm actually very happy that I got to assemble the team down. Let's see what happens. This is going to be reanimate. This will be countered by Ginger Taxis. That is very problematic for them. They'll now have to have removal for Ginger Taxis, but uh, nothing's left their battlefield this turn should be good so we'll just take the six uh no reason to block it right now i'll think about it doing it next turn but i do want to get an oracle the alpha attack in case we don't draw a card draw here all right big draw here uh ginger taxis number two here um oh, i guess everything is a uh it's a food huh so i can send that back to hand sacking my oracle if i'd really like to We'll move in though. Um, I think it's worth attacking with Ginger Taxis. If we really want to, we can drop the other. Uh, Brainstorm is beautiful. We'll leave that on top. And now we just have to survive another turn here uh, and not die to a uh, combo. All right. Alrighty, let's go. 
Unfortunately, my opponent's on a lot of creatures here, so we'll have to save the mana drain for creatures. Reanimate should be covered if they draw another. Dark Ritual, that gets countered by Jin. Um, hopefully they intended for that, because if they didn't, that's a little awkward. They have access to three mana if they sacrifice the Yigra. They will be buried alive here, so this is the problem. We will then have to into Flood Maw. Um, let's cast this alternate cost, targeting... Uh, we will gift this Hapt Fish, targeting Yigra. We will sacrifice the food, and that will be our Orville Alpha. Uh, oh, yeah, I guess we can do this. So we will uh, target this. Ward goes. We will have the first ward. We either sacrifice the Oracle. They can get their counters, whatever. Uh, that goes back to hand. We'll let our second one fizzle. All right, cool. And they think that they cannot win without their egress, so we will be able to make it work. Um, hopefully that Brainstorm uh, on next turn would be enough to find us victory. Uh, honestly, who knows at this point? It might have been another pass, uh, pass the turn play. But between Jinja Taxis and the Mana Drain in hand, uh, I think that we were feeling uh, in a pretty locked out situation for our opponent. Good round three. Let's go to round four. All right, here we go. Let's look for a good hand. Um, this is kind of just okay. Mystic Sanctuary both tapped. Yeah, I think I'm mulliganing this one. Seek new knowledge for the first time in this series. We could be happy with a Jinja Taxis that is just uh, being our show and tell target. That could be all right with like Mana Drain Counterspell. Fae of Wishes, just a blocker here. Our lands are, uh, we're good for a turn two Counterspell holdup. I guess I'm fine with this. We'll choose Mana Drain over Counterspell for this hand and hope for one land draw and then show and tell. That would probably be our best sequence. One land, show and tell omniscience, that'd be a, a dream. Opponent shows commercial district into Utopia Sprawl. So let's go Mystic Sanctuary to get that Castle of Antris Island requirement out of the way, and then turn two will reevaluate. Shock in the Stomping Ground, Cash Grab. Okay, so I think this is probably going to be the uh, Andrea Mangucci um, Shifting Woodland Omniscience combo. At least that's my guess. Uh, we have Misty Rainforest here. We can decide between Mana Drain and Seek New Knowledge. Uh, seek New Knowledge here is going to be a really good way to find our combo pieces. So I think that this is likely the, the play, if not Mana Drain. We also um, are maybe one turn off from being able to Mana Drain into a Ginger Taxis, so I will keep that in mind. Yeah, if they tap out for something here, that's unfortunate. I have to wait for a 4-drop. Ooh, Fable the Mirror Breaker is tempting. Um, with 6 mana, what do I do? I can go Fey of Wishes for something, then Seek New Knowledge, or I can Seek New Knowledge and potentially go Show and Tell into Junior Taxes. So maybe I do like this after all. We'll take this. We'll make sure to find any sort of island. We'll go uh, Mana Drain. And let's hope that we find something good. So you get restoration, not so bad. We'll have a total of six mana here. I'm going to wait to decide what land to play. So let's seek new knowledge first. Let's see what we find. Into the Flood Mall. We do have Brainstorm as well. What do we want to put back? For now, I think we'd like to keep Into the Flood Mall out. I'll get rid of the Odal War, I think. We're fine on three lands, uh, for a bit at least. And we do have Seagate if we really need a fourth. So I think that's the move. Now we go Brainstorm, and then we might need to use this Castle of Antris. See what the hit is here that is Show and Tell. So we will put back one into the Flood Maw and this other Brainstorm. We're going to draw the Brainstorm, ideally. And we go Castle of Antris, and we go Show and Tell. So Show and Tell for Ginger Taxis. Let's see if this is good. We can into the Flood Maw, whatever they put in, if it's really scary. Uh, we will want to be holding priority here before our end step. Need to make sure that that happens right away. And will they have instant speed removal? That's the only thing that's a bit awkward. So I think I'd like... Oh, you know what? I don't have the mana for Into the Flood Maw. All right, we have to pass Unprotected. Uh, possibly we just get absolutely ruined here. Thank God they did that on uh, their turn. 
Let's see if they have another spell to play. They do not, so that was uh, one that was probably better played on their turn. Now they have to uh, burn through Ginger Taxes triggers once more this turn. Hopefully that's enough to give me one more shot at this thing. One ring, that'll be countered. Now they're free to go for their combo. Harn the Great Creator. Harn it can probably kill me here. Ancestral Statue bouncing as well as a thing. All right, so they can mess with this. Yeah, Ancestral Statue, go Karn, uh, find the one ring, or not one ring. Um, okay, so we're, we're going for Ancestral Statue, Storm, and then we're going to bounce Karn, get Aetherflux Reservoir, and kill me. Let's let them fully execute this one. I kind of want to see if there's any other um, line that they've worked out. This is going to be one of these situations where I'm going to force my opponent to make a lot of clicks. Typically, once I see the uh, kill, I'm happy to just uh, concede and save us both some time. But I don't think I've actually played an Ancestral Statue loop that was done this way. Typically, I try to do it where um, I draw for a second Karn and then try to have an uh, Ancestral Statue played with um, Aetherflux Reservoir. But this is a very uh, fine way to go about it. So uh, Storm must be around 10 or so. They will need many, many more activations of this. So pretty smart of them to go for the uh, the one ring to break the Ginger Taxus uh, trigger. That is nice. I think maybe we'll just sit back here and watch them go for a little bit. Now here's Karn. Let's see if they've counted their storm appropriately. This will be the Aetherflux Reservoir. And do they draw here? This is one ring. 46, they're four short. Uh, could they possibly brick and hit two lands here? I would doubt it. <laughs> All right, there's the Fable of the Mirror Breaker. They'll get to activate Aetherflux Reservoir. And uh, unfortunately, our show and tell is going to break us. Good game to opponent. Uh, this is uh, an unlikely mirror. I definitely could have realized that they may have kept the hand with Omniscience and played a little bit differently. Um, pretty much the mistake here was uh, trying to jam on turn three. Playing turn four with my Seagate Restoration holding up into the Flood Maw is actually the correct move there. Unfortunately, it was missed, but uh, now you know. Uh, decent round four. We essentially got to the combo, but uh, we're going to have round five now to try to get one that's executed flawlessly. Let's hop in there. All right, I would really like a clean kill if possible. Uh, let's see if we can make that happen today. Um, neither one of our combo pieces in this opening hand, but we do have decent mana and decent uh, card draw. The, the double into the Flood Maw kind of makes this a mulligan for me, though it's pretty close. Uh, in this one, three lands, Jinja Taxus. Seeking New Knowledge is going to help me thin my deck. Eventually, I will get that third land. It's just up to seek new knowledge to really find the cards that I need. I think the Fae of Wishes is what we'll discard here. Counterspell is going to be important. But it will keep that. We will keep our six, dropping, like I said, the Fae of Wishes. There we are, and we will start. So let's go Flooded Strand. Flooded Strand will thin our deck, and then we'll crack off that seek new knowledge next turn. Possible Thoughtseize. Looks like we'll get around that. Here's Flooded Strand. And um, yeah, I guess we will go for a basic island. We'll leave the Mystic Sanctuary since we will be able to have uh, we'll be able to have them online from here on out. Well, let's hold up Seeking Knowledge and Counterspell on our following turn and let our opponent lead this game off. Back up Ginger Taxis. Um, we're looking to put one back on the library with Seek New Knowledge. Logo we'll for Polluted Delta now. You got it. A 
we'll finally be able to see what colors they're truly playing. It will be blue black. Um, I've had some games here with this deck where Surgical Extraction has been a silver bullet against me. Um, there are, there's enough Reanimator in Timeless that I can kind of understand a lot of people playing Surgical. Um, so I will try to respect that to the best of my ability. The worst matchup that I've played uh, in some of my warm-up games has been Mill with uh, a few main deck Surgicals. That has been absolutely backbreaking when uh, it's able to go off. All right, so one mana available here. Looks like they're taking a development turn. Um, Leyline of Anticipation is an interesting one here. This, I mean, kind of seems to me like Blue Black Omni Show, possibly. Could be Reanimator. Hard to say. Leyline of Anticipation seems to be some sort of tech. Um, okay, so we have our turn here. I'm going to attempt to seek new knowledge. We find Omniscience and into the Flood Maw. We're putting Ginger Taxis back. Um, I mean, a show and tell would be nice here. That gets my cards into play, but we don't really combo this turn. Uh, I'd still be happy for it, though. Let's try. If you have Wishes, uh, that's something. I'm probably still holding the Counterspell, though. Now, if they start to hold up mana, then we just wait until turn 5, or we will ideally have a protected show and tell. Big decision. We'll go Watery Grave tapped. Um, I am willing to believe... Okay, I was going to say I thought they'd have... Um, I thought they would have a... Uh, I did not think it'd be assembled the team. <laughs> I thought they'd be holding up a counter spell. But now this is pretty certain to me that they're on Omni Show as well. That means that uh, if I'm going to be dropping one on my turn, I need to be ready to win the game. If they show and tell me, then I'm going to go Omniscience into the Flood Maw. That will be good. And then we can hopefully disrupt them. So I'm kind of happy with my hand here. Uh, now all of a sudden we're in a place where it's pretty decent to kind of just chill. Um, I'm down to brainstorm here and find a land. There is a land. We'll have to put two cards back so we know we're not getting anything for a while. I'll put the brainstorm on top and then back up counterspell. Uh, we want the brainstorm first. And then here's the Mystic Sanctuary. Uh, seek new knowledge is beautiful. Let's just make sure that that's the draw instead. Uh, seeking will be pretty nice. And... Uh, if one of those cards is show and tell and they tap out, we could potentially try to rationalize this. So it's up to opponent. Do they want to try it now? If they go for it now, I'm pretty happy to see. Yep, so they'll just hold off here. Uh, they know about the Seek New Knowledge. Um, I think I'm just going to hold off here. We could try to deploy a Fey of Wishes and start to clock them a little bit. That would be nice. I think I will do that. That gives me then an opportunity to go either Seek New Knowledge or Counterspell. It's not like I'm going to be using 4 mana anyway. Um, however, this does become a little awkward if I need to do Omniscience into the Flood Maw and Seek New Knowledge, but we'll see what's up. Or sorry, Omniscience, Flood Maw, and Counterspell. Alright, so we have our 18 turn clock online. Opponent has no board. They'll fetch with the Polluted Delta. So we're kind of just both a uh, bundle of dynamite waiting to go off, <laughs> staring across at each other. I'm hoping that we are the one that's better positioned here. Now, Veil of Summer is something that i got to think about as well. Um, that is something that with Omniscience we can counterspell. Uh, what will they be finding here? It'll be Assemble the Team. So yeah, they're just looking for a protected combo of their own. Um, I think that if I'm able to find show and tell and go with them tapped out, th this could be all right for me. 
I'll look at. Will there be plays on my end step? Not sure. It looks like no. So now I can see that just lay out of anticipation is just some Soltai Omni Show uh, tech here. I wonder why they would want more than four copies of Born Upon a Wind, but sure. Assemble the team. Sure, I'll let you have that. They could go land show and tell here. That would be kind of inadvisable for them, honestly. All right, and we're just staring back and forth at each other. I think now I go seek new knowledge. See if I'm allowed to have that. Makes sense. Uh, do we want another fate of wishes? I'd say no. Uh, we find a brainstorm anyway. Okay, let's put that back. My turn. They're holding priority here, and that's just to discard multiple ley lines here. Let's see a Fae of Wishes attack go in. Start to slowly work down that clock. And we'll look for more lands, look for more show and tell. All these good things. Uh, nothing yet, surprisingly. I'm down to start to shuffle some of these cards away. I don't know if we need double counter spell. And then Seek New Knowledge is probably just better than Brainstorm for me. I could even wait on the Flooded Strand if I really want. I could keep the Brainstorm, I suppose. Uh, and then I guess I'll decide on Flooded Strand. Okay. We'll kind of probably end up deferring our decision here. Um, Seek New Knowledge can be put on top of the library again if we want. Yeah, actually, you know what? I think I'm fine to shuffle this and just uh, find Mystic Sanctuary. Watery Grave. This is Shock, so they mean to do something today. Uh, Dark Ritual, sure. Let's see what the payoff is. It'll be Show and Tell. Um, I think I'm going to let Show and Tell resolve. I'm going to go Omniscience, and uh, I'm going to hope that I have enough here. Now, do I want Ginger Taxis out? Ginger Taxis is nice. I'm probably going to take Ginger Taxis. I think this is the biggest surprise that we could have. And eventually I'm going to find Show and Tell. And that's something that will just work for getting my omniscience in. We can also into the Flood mod them pretty effectively. Like right away once they cast something. All right, Ginger Taxis versus Omniscience. What do we have? Is this good tech? So first thing that they cast is getting countered. I think the enchantments are fine. But they want to win probably through casting a lot of spells, so that's a good thing for me. Atrax is problematic. They might not be playing a lot of uh, targeted removal, so I'm hoping that I can kind of get around this. Uh, once we get priority again, we're going to into the Flood Maw. So I'm kind of thinking that I want to into the Flood Maw now. We have enough to counterspell on top of this. Um, let's actually let this resolve first. We'll give them priority again, then go into the flood mall. I want them to kind of like commit a little bit of their hand. So it tracks it here. Um, I want to try to resolve into the flood mall. We're going to gift a fish. We get to copy with Ginger Taxis. I'm trying to make it through one to two counter spells, ideally, and we should be able to. I'll just have two target the omniscience, and then we have counter spell backup. Then Ginger Chaxis gets to do its thing. Uh, we'll seek new knowledge. Hope we find our own um, our own omniscience uh, for the battlefield. Target this. So if it's another show and tell in hand, that's really just unfortunate, and we get comboed over. I suppose that is awkward. But I have to act now, otherwise they're just going to be able to go. So pack the mitigation on the initial one. Sure. I still have to respond to this. Okay. 
And uh, I don't think they understand how uh, copying spells work, unfortunately. They'll need two counter spells, and uh, even if they did have the second, I was covered there. So we will uh, win this grindy game three. Uh, unfortunately, we weren't the one to initiate the combo, so I will try for one more time. I'd like to get a clean game in for you guys, but I understand that that's something that might not necessarily happen. I'm really just trying to show like the, uh, <laughs> the boots on the ground, like actual experience of playing these decks, and uh, concessions are one of them. People don't like to watch uh, the Omniscience deck combo out, even if it's the uh, off-meta combo that I'm playing. All right, so off of that round five win, we'll go for round 5.5 here. Ginger Taxis in the opening hand. Uh, this is a hand that I'm really just not exactly happy about. Um, Seek New Knowledge, though, can put back a Ginger Taxis, and then we're really just looking for a third land. Um, as I've talked about it, I have warmed up a little bit. So we'll go land here. Flooded Strand will find our second out of three islands, and then we'll go Seek New Knowledge. Might be Discard. Discard's a problematic thing. Here's Grief. Uh, will it be a Grief scam is the question. Mana Drain might be good in this matchup. We might be able to snag another Grief later. Big decision for them here. I think... I am not. I would not say that that's the answer. Uh, we have a way of getting that back. Uh, surgical, maybe. I don't know. Uh, now we have counter spell, which is great. That's a good surprise for them. Uh, we will counter spell or reanimate. I think. All right. Looks like we will get priority passed. I'm looking to just seek new knowledge here. Put one of these ginger taxes back. Put that back. Bam. All right, cool. So they uh, in the arena UI don't get to see my hand anymore, even though they do know three out of the five cards. Moved to turn here. Didn't find a land here. We're going to have to go for it with Brainstorm. We will find it. That's nice. Uh, I would like to hold Mana Drain, I believe. Um, we'll put back Counterspell. We'll put back into the Flood Maw, I think. Yep. And then we're going to Shock here. Shock here for Seeking Knowledge. And uh, I guess Mana Drain as well. So after this turn, if we can avoid having to play the Mana Drain right now, we have a path of Mana Drain into Ginger Taxis. Liliana the Veil, I think we do need to counter that. that turn. Counter spell, make our mana. Um, we're going to seek new knowledge off this. Omniscience is good. Ginger Taxis number two is not good. We'll put that back. We have four mana to work with here, including this Mystic Sanctuary. I think we just hold up another mana drain and then get ready for Ginger Taxis. All right. We'll be able to come out with uh, seven or eight mana here if they decide to tap out Necropotence, mana drain. All right. Cool. So now we go for Ginger Taxis. And now they got to deal with that. Uh, in mono block, should be able to deal with this no problem. Uh, hopefully, they can't this turn. We'll need to have two removal spells, which uh, yeah, I definitely think that any like this deck could do it. They go fatal push into go for the throw, and then we're back. But that is two cards in one turn that they have to deal with. So let's see what it is. Fatal push. Yep. They're doing the thing. Nice. Uh, so they will escape the Ginger Taxis thing. It'll cost them two cards in their turn, but nice. I hope they did that just to be able to uh, do a setup turn. I hope they're not going to kill Ginger Taxis this turn. That would be kind of a huge win for me. But I think Ginger Taxis is going to die, right? Yeah, March of Ritz are five, sure. So they'll shred their hand here. Uh... That is pretty solid. And oh man, we get to go show and tell now. Yeah, show and tell. Drop the omniscience. Uh, hopefully, they can't do anything with this. We can also into the flood mod if it's crazy. Uh, I think we will uh, into the flood mod their shieldred. Make them have to. Uh... Oh, I did not need to gift them that. Uh, hopefully, they enjoy the 1 1. We now have counterspell to uh, eat their shieldred. Alright, cool. 
So it's a top deck, but I don't have to pay mana for my spells. Let's see what's going to happen here. 16 turn clock into the flood mob. We can send the 1 1 back if we want to. Um, but now we're insulated against another shield rid, which is great. Bowmaster is also kind of tough, but we will see what we draw. Misty Rainforest. Um, we can find Brainstorm. Uh, we'll probably do Seek New Knowledge uh, on the end step. All right, so we're ready to go this next turn. Looks like they will pass through. We are going to set up our draw. Oh, they're waiting for second main phase. It's going to be reanimate here. Um, let's go ahead and now think about this because we're going to have to into the flood maw attempting to remove that. And then we're going to need to. Uh... Oh, you know what? Uh, yeah, then we'll need to uh, probably just use that to cast seed new knowledge. Make sure that that gets to the ginger taxis. Uh, we can still win through this, so I will do this. This is fine. We'll uh, activate this. Finding another Mystic Sanctuary. We'll put a Sorcerer on top of our library. It will be our Seek New Knowledge. Or an instant, rather. We will take action. And let's draw. So we'll go into the Flood Maw. We will uh, return her creature. I actually didn't mean to pay mana for that. It's fine. So Ginger Taxis counters it. We go seek new knowledge and let's attempt to do something cool here. So put a card into our library. It's gonna have to be Oracle of the Alpha. We need to find something that draws more cards. Brainstorm. Into Brainstorm uh, is actually not very good. So maybe we go... Yeah, I mean, I think we just need to dig one deeper with a Brainstorm. This is uh, not great. I will just play the Mystic Sanctuary if it really comes down to it. Um, and actually, you know what? Oh, that should have been... I should have drawn the Brainstorm. Okay. We're going to have to wait two turns now, which is awkward. I'm going to just try to go for it. We're going to look at that third card here. It's a Flooded Strand. Dang. Okay, so we go like this. That is fine. We can fetch with the Flooded Strand. Mystic Sanctuary, we'll put something back on top, and then we just need to find another uh, another card. I think Seek New Knowledge. This is the only one that's card positive. Um, or, well, it's card neutral, rather. Uh, we will put that on top. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, things didn't go well for us here. The reanimate was just uh, too well-timed. Props on opponent for sticking with it, though. Uh, we had gotten rid of one reanimate earlier in the game, I believe, right? Um, no, I guess we didn't. I thought we did. But regardless, uh, I think they're going to have us here. So Seek New Knowledge gets countered with Ginger Taxis. And uh, then we just have to kind of sit here and uh, take it. So good on opponent. Uh, very good play here. All right, well, that'll bring us to the end of round five here. Uh, we will end it with uh, a win and a loss, uh, a decent 50-50 uh, there. Hope you guys enjoyed this deck. It's definitely a fun version of uh, Omni Show. Uh, definitely not the meta one. I think that definitely that title still is for the Sultai variant, but this one was definitely uh, fun to play nonetheless. Really, really cool to get some usage out of Ginger Taxes today. It won us a game, and it definitely lost us a game as well, uh, pretty much due to reanimate, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. If you would like to give the deck tech a uh, or the deck list a try for yourself, uh, we have it up on the Mox field, so make sure to check that out. Uh, with that being said, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. All those things help with the algorithm, and uh, I will see you guys in the next video.